That's it. NXT UK has finally come to an end. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys the result of NXT Worlds Collide. I'm going to be honest here. When it comes to Worlds Collide, you think it, it would have been just a battle for breast supremacy, but this time, it was not. It was a battle to see who was going to be the best champion in NXT history, and this event did not disappoint. If you guys thought that Clash of the Castle yesterday was insane, this one was no different. Now, if you guys remember my prediction video for Worlds Collide, one of the matches that I had wrote on, on the card was Nathan Fraser versus Axiom. It was supposed to, I, rumor has it that it was supposed to have taken place at Worlds Collide, but unfortunately it did not come to pass, so it will be taking place this coming Tuesday. But if, if, but if I had to pick, I think I said Nathan Fraser just based on, based on experience alone. So, but anyway, we kick things off with a match for the North American Championship as Carmella Hayes defended against SmackDown's Ricochet, who is actually a former North American Champion, the second ever NXT North American Champion. And this was a very interesting match. It was a battle to see who was the best, not to see who was the best high, not, not just to see who was the best high flyer, but it was a battle to see who deserved to be North American Champion. Was it Carmella Hayes or was it Ricochet? This was a fast-paced match. Non-stop action. Literally, the fans were chanting, fight forever. It, they literally almost fought forever. But, the closing moments of the match, Trick Williams got involved, almost hit Ricochet with the with the North American title, which allowed, which allowed Carmella Hayes to roll up Ricochet to retain the NXT North American title. I have a feeling that Ricochet he ain't he ain't gonna let that one slide. I, I've I, I have a feeling that this Tuesday we're gonna see Ricochet show up to NXT this coming Tuesday. But I but I gotta admit this was a hell of a matchup so shout outs to so shout outs to, to Carmelo Hayes for for that for that matchup, but it just was not meant to be for the one and only. Next up, we move on to the Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match, which was to unify both the NXT and the NXT UK Tag Team titles between the NXT Tag Team Champions, the Kree Brothers, the UK Tag Team Champions, Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen, the former NXT and UK Tag Team Champions, Pretty Deadly, and the longest reigning former NXT UK Tag Team Champions in history, Gallus, which featured Mark Coffey and Wolfgang, which did not which did not surprise me because obviously both Wolfgang and Mark, Mark Coffey actually defeated Soul Culture to become NXT UK Tag Team Champions, which I think I talked about that in my top ten video of the of Grace. Of the greatest NXT UK Tag Team Championship matches of all time. Which, if you guys have not checked out that video, I recommend you do so. I'll be doing the same thing for the women's title and the NXT UK title. To honor the legacy of NXT UK. A six year legacy. That's pretty impressive. Obviously, obviously we do have NXT Euro coming up pretty soon. But NXT Euro will, in, in my opinion could never top what NXT UK did, in my honest opinion. So, but I got to admit, this was rather unique because this, because, because earlier on in, because earlier on, we found out that Diamond, that the leader of Diamond Mine, Roderick Strong, was taken out, was taken out in, in the backstage area, literally in the parking lot of, of the Performance Center, and we don't, and, and we didn't know who it was. But... Who exactly did attack Roderick Strong? Apparently, Wade Wade Barron on commentary said, "You know, believe that it was um, believe that it was uh, it was uh, Ju uh, Julius Creed Creed over 
what's been going on within Diamond Mine in, in, in the last several weeks, which I don't blame him. In, in which, if it was Julius Creed, I didn't. I don't blame him. But at the same time, this is Rod. This is Roderick Strong. He don't give he. This is Roddy. He's a fighter. He'll he'll fight through it, and he will find out who did this to him. Which I've got my my own suspicions, but the match. Literally, the ring announcer didn't even announce what kind of match it was, but the world knew what what it was. So they were like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck the announcement. Just ring the fucking bell. These guys went at it. These guys beat the holy hell out of each other. And unfortunately, Briggs and Jensen were the first team to be eliminated from the match. So we were guaranteed potentially a new, you know, new NXT UK Tag Team Champions or or I guess unified champions, sort of. Um, then of course Gallus got 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 eliminated, and then when it came down to the final two teams, pretty deadly, and of course the Creed brothers, everything went south. Gallus and Briggs and Jensen came came back to ringside, started to beat the hell out, out of each other, and then Damon Kemp went went ahead and hit hit um. Hit Elton Prince with a spine buster, and right when Julius was about to take home the victory, a steel chair to the back by Damon Kemp. Yeah, you heard me right. So honestly, I'm under the impression that it was Damon Kemp that took out Roderick Strong. Which it, which is a possibility, but we don't really know. But I'm sure we'll find out this coming Tuesday. But unfortunately, Pretty Deadly was able to... But unfortunately, Elton Prince was able to pin Julius Creed to pick up the victory for Pretty Deadly. And thus, they are now the Unified NXT Tag Team Champions. Making them two-time NXT UK Tag Team Champions. And of course, two-time NXT Tag Team Champions. In fact, I think Pretty Deadly are the... Only is are the only ones to hold the NXT UK tag titles twice. No one's been able to do that before. Pretty Deadly was able to make history at Worlds Collide. But we now move on to the second title unification match. This time for the women's titles between the NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose, the number one contender Blair Devonport, and the NXT UK Women's Champion Mako Sanamora, the final boss. You know damn well that this was this was a match to see if Mandy Rose can do it on her own because as you guys know, as you guys have seen, you know previously in, in, in previous title matches, Mandy Rose has always found a unique way to retain her title. Whether it was whether it was having the referee distracted by the rest of Toxic Attraction, whether it was. You know, the referee being taken out, it, does, it didn't matter. Mandy Rose always found a way to win. This one was no different because the closing moments of the match, right when, right when Blair Davenport was pinning Mandy Rose, Mako Sanomura hit Blair Davenport with her move, with her finisher known as the known as Scorpio Rising, and then Mandy Rose was able to hit both Davenport and Ro and Mako. With her, with that pump knee strike that she calls "Kiss by the Rose," and was able to pin Blair Davenport to unify the NXT and NXT UK women's titles. Thus, now the question becomes: Can anybody stop Mandy Rose? Is there anybody in NXT that can take the title off of Mandy Rose? I guess we will have to see. But congrats to Mandy Rose on becoming the new uni the new unified women's champion. But now we got to move on to the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Now, obviously, you guys know that Carmella Hayes and the and and the tag team tag team champions, Kaden Carter and Katana Chance, did not have a spot on the card for Worlds Collide. Now, because that we had a title that we had three title unification matches, you would think you would think that. No, that, that Noam Dar, being the last NXT UK Heritage Cup champion, would have came over to NXT and would have 
challenged Car Carmelo Hayes for a title unification match. You would think. Nope. Nope. I guess, uh, Noam Dar is scared of Carmelo Hayes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, rumor has it that, that Noam Dar actually refused to be a part of Worlds Collide. Can you guys believe that? Who the hell would refuse to be a part of a big show like Worlds Collide? Who the hell would do something like that? Seriously, who? Who? I guess I guess Noam Dar. But, of course, Carter and Chance were given the opportunity to defend their titles against Raw's Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H., who, who, actually, mind you, Nikki A.S.H. is the only woman in WWE to have challenged for every single active title in the women's division in WWE, which includes the Raw women's title, the SmackDown women's title, the NXT women's title, the WWE women's tag team titles, and the NXT women's tag team titles. Also, I believe the NXT UK women's title as well, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Let me... I'll have to take a look really quickly. Um... Let's see. I don't think she ever did. Yeah, I think I think the NXT UK Women's Title was the only title that she has never challenged for. But I mean, still. But still, this is the first. But 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 still, she's the only person to have ever done to have ever to have to have ever uh, challenged for every single active women's title in WWE. But unfortunately, the closing moments of the match, just when you thought that Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H. were gonna pull pull off the biggest upset in NXT history, out comes Toxic Attractions, J.C. Jane and Gigi Dolan, and they basically. They basically fended off Nikki A.S.H., which allowed Carter and Chance to pull off their finishing move on Dewdrop. And right when Nikki A.S.H. was about to get into the ring, boop, grab Jane grabs the leg of Nikki A.S.H. One, two, three. Chance and Carter retain the tag team titles, which I'm under the impression that we might see that we could potentially see a a potential fatal four-way match between Carter and Chance, Toxic, Toxic Attraction, Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H., and of course Diamond Mines, Tatum Paxley, and Ivy Nile, because they because they challenged uh, Carter and Chance, um, uh, I think it was like last week on, on NXT, and then of course Dewdrop and N Nikki A.S.H. got involved, and of course Chance and Carter actually pinned Toxic Attraction to win the titles in the first place, so it all comes together. Why not make it a Fatal 4-Way? But now we move on to the main event, which is one of the biggest matches, not just in NXT history, but in European wrestling history, in British wrestling history. You guys know, when it comes to British wrestling, There, there has been a variety of of professional wrestlers that came from from the UK. Obviously, Johnny Sate is is one of them. You know, you know, you know, Fit Finley or Finley, if you guys if you guys remember him, William Regal, Johnny Haystacks. As well, there's been so many of them. Let me go on to this link. There's a link that shows off. Yeah, so guys like guys like Fit Finley, guys like guys like Big Daddy, who is actually uh, Big Daddy Big Daddy Shirley Crabtree was his name. Um, giant 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 Haystacks. 
literally one of the biggest men, one of the one of the heaviest men in wrestling today at 685 pounds, which is insane. Um, Robbie Brookside is another one. William Regal. Um, You know, Adrian Street as well. Chris Adams. Um, Mick McManus, I believe how I believe I said his name correct. Uh, Kendo Nagasaki. Continuing on, Mark Rollerball Rocco. Uh, Marty Jones. Who else? Uh, uh, Dynamite Kid, British Bulldog. Johnny Saint, I mentioned. William Regal, I mentioned. Um, there are so many of them. So many incredible British wrestlers. Johnny Saint, I mentioned. There are so many of them. Um, and... This match was basically a battle to determine who was the best. Who is the best in NXT? You know, who is going who is going to be the guy to to not only unify both the NXT and the NXT UK titles, but turn them into a title that can help take NXT to the next level and make way for for NXT Europe when it comes out when it comes around in 2023. Was it going to be Tyler Bate or is it going to be Braun Breaker, two fan favorite competitors from both NXT and from NXT UK. Of course, to of course, to Tyler Bate, you know, being a former NXT and NXT UK tag team champion, a former two now now a former two time NXT UK champion, former NXT Heritage Cup champion, and then, and then of course Braun Breaker, a two time NXT champion. This dude, both of these men have done it all in NXT. And this was a battle to see who was the best. And at the closing moments of the match, Braun, right when Tyler Bate was about to hit Braun Breaker with his with his slingshot clothesline, bam, a spear. Braun Breaker hit Tyler Bate with a with a devastating spear to pick up the victory and unify both the NXT and the NXT UK titles. Thought and of course too, Tyler Bate. Being the gentleman that he is, being the respectful man that he is, he took both tiles, boop, wrapped them over, draped them over both of Braun Breaker's shoulders, wrote, rose his hand up, and that was that. Honestly, uh, with with NXT UK, it was fun. It, it was fun while it lasted. I mean, come on. I, I, I mean, come on. Rhea Ripley, Sid Scala, who else can I think of? Gunther, you know, the rest of Imperium. Tyler Bay, Trent Seven, Amel, you know, you know, Nina Samuels, all these guys, all these guys, guys and girls went to NXT UK, dominated with an iron fist, and helped make it the fastest rising brand in all, not just in all of WWE, but in all of British wrestling, in all of European wrestling, and it was fun while it lasted, but all good things must come to an end. Which then brings, which now brings me to the question of the day, which is this: Which among the card at among this card, which was your all-time favorite match? What was your match of the night? Me personally, has to be the NXT title unification match, in my opinion. Let me know down in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more premium live event results in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And make sure you guys follow me on all of my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.